Also tonight, video appearing to show a student from an El Dorado County school making racist sounds during a soccer game. This happened Saturday during a girls championship soccer game between Oak Ridge High School and Buchanan High School from Clovis. The El Dorado Union School District says someone from the Oak Ridge side of the stands made what they're calling an unacceptable outburst. KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo has been looking into this. She joins us now with how the school is handling it. Melanie? Well, we spoke with the coach of Buchanan High School's girls soccer team and we also heard from the Oak Ridge High School community. They're all very upset and disappointed about the turn turn taken at what should have been an exciting championship match. After 90 minutes of play and a tie between Buchanan High School and Oak Ridge High School in the Northern California Girls Soccer Championship game, it came down to a penalty kick shootout. My first kicker went up and she was Caucasian. Everything was fine. No sounds were made. Then it was the next player's turn to kick. Who is Hispanic? She was barked at by a person in the stands. And then when my third kicker came up, who's African-American, I mean, it was almost silent in the stadium and clear as day, you know, gorilla monkey noises. Buchanan coach Jasara Gillette says at that point she stood up and called upon the referee to intervene. There was no doubt that it was a racist, um, you know, sound at and directed at the only African-American player. That sound is heard on video shared by the team with KCRA 3. And Gillette says you can hear even more of those taunts in other videos circulating online. The monkey noise did not stop then. That student continued their monkey noises. She and says she's no never seen or heard anything monkey. like this in her over 15 years of coaching. I've never witness something like that. I've never experienced it. Explaining she never imagined she'd have to coach her players to deal with something like this. We pre prepare for the game to be loud, um, especially during penalty kicks. We prepare for there to be, you know, so, some some noise and, and stuff like that. But we definitely do not prepare for racist comments. At Oak Ridge High School, students are talking about the incident. I thought it was awful, immature and repulsive. As our school leaders. It's not representative of this school. That one individual made us look bad as a whole. We reached out to the Oak Ridge High School principal, Aaron Palm, for an interview, but did not hear back. But this message went out to all parents tonight, and it reads in part, this individual's actions do not represent the values of Oak Ridge, the district, or our community. Our investigation today has determined the student who made the sound. This individual is being held accountable. In light of this incident, we are going to need to reflect and decide how to move forward from this. As for Gillette, she's trying to help her players feel proud of their season while urging those around them to address the racism that emerged in the final minutes of their championship game. We can still celebrate our success and the girls, but then also make sure that we're addressing what happened. And Buchanan soccer coach is also calling on the California Interscholastic Federation or CIF and that's the governing body for high school sports in the state. She wants them to have very clear guidelines about penalties for teams whose fans use racist taunts just as in this incident. Meanwhile, we are hearing of at least a handful of sit-ins and walkouts that are being planned by Oak Ridge students and other high school school students across the region in solidarity with those Buchanan soccer players. We're working to learn more about those incidents or those uh, events and we will share details on them as soon as we get them.